What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. So check it out, Clash Cup League Week 2, One High versus Warzone 68. I gave you a sneak peek at that in yesterday's video as we showed off some of the attacks from that war. But we've got even better action for you today because I have the end of the war with the live stream so you can see it all happening live. I'm not going to give you away the scores right now. Watch this video to the end and see the epic finish for this war. But let's get right into the action. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's do this. So we're going to start it off with a 12v12 against my own base, and then we'll hit over to an 11v11, the best one I can find for the war, and then we'll kick it off into the live stream with Blame Adam on Twitch. So if you haven't been involved in the Twitch streams before, Blame Adam, Time to Clash, both of his channels there put on amazing shows for Champion War League and Clash Cup League, so make sure you hit over there and hit a follow on him. <laughs> his shows are amazing they're very very suspenseful very fun but let's get into the attack here and check out this 12v12 by tata 22 he's going to start it off with a queen charge and going in after my queen after my eagle and like it's a it's a really really nice entry in the base here so he uses a couple balloons to snipe off that cannon and that's going to form his funnel and then the queen is going to be able to push forward and into a little tesla farm there and then start surging up into the 12 o'clock area and you gotta watch this wall break. This wall break is brilliant. He uses the king to distract a lot of the defenses in the area. He's gonna get a rage down here. He's under a little bit of fire. And he wants that queen moving along quickly as she enters the base there. She is starting to take a little extra damage. She actually looks like he delays that rage just a little bit until he engages the CC. Gets that poison down. King funneling out that 12 o'clock area to push her into the base. Here come the wall breakers with the freeze. Perfectly timed to distract the wizard tower and the... Inferno and the king almost got in position to stop this archer tower from hitting wall breakers too So he did lose a couple but he had enough to make sure he got into the entry there And now he is pushing into the base there another rage down for that queen and That rage is perfectly placed that's going to make so that the queen actually the healers move on into the rage before she's actually in any threat, but speed her along so time doesn't become an issue towards the end of the raid here. The king is finally about to go down as he rounds the outside corner there, and he's about ready to start the Laloon shortly there. That queen, after she enters that compartment, has access to the eagle because of the reduced range of the eagle from the update yesterday, and is going to be able to continue forward and take out the Inferno and the Sweeper, and so now once the sweeper goes down, he's ready to start his Laloon. He wants to make sure that he gets the sweeper. He pops that ability because he was under two Expo fires. Doing those extra damage from those Expos is brutal for the queen. So she has to pop her ability or use another Rage. I think he's trying to rush those Expos before he has to use another spell to save his queen to reduce that damage off of her. The Laloon is coming through nicely, holding on to that Warden ability. We need to save it all the way for the Town Hall, so he has to be very patient with it, and he's sending the Soul Slammer down at 6 o'clock to keep everything centered. More balloons in at 7 or 8 o'clock there to try to snipe off a little bit and narrow that pathing to push everything into the Town Hall. Queen is still alive back there, back top to full health. Warden ability perfectly guards him from that Town Hall. One last haste to move him into the backside here and take out those final Teslas and Wizard Towers, and the base is absolutely wrecked. This one is going straight in the garbage. I'm not going to be able to use this one. It is too public now for the war community and I it's burned. So go ahead and steal it. It was an excellent base and it takes an excellent attacker to pull off this attack. So great job to Tata22 and let's jump over to a 11v11 next. Alright guys, the next attack I want to show you is from King Caldrago with a brilliant Queen Charge Miner attack here. Going to open it up with a couple balloons and a wizard to form one side of his funnel, and then a baby dragon with a Cocoa Loon on the other side. He has to make sure he uses that Cocoa Loon, because if the baby dragon dies to a black mine immediately, then he funnel fails, and this thing could go horribly wrong. Definitely worth the one balloon there, and he sends in his Stone Slammer now to go in and open up the walls here. It hits that first defense, opening up two layers of walls there. Maybe that's why he used that over a wall wrecker. He wasn't confident that the wall wrecker would have made it all the way through the second wall, so he uses the Stone Slammer, which only needs one hit to open up the compartment. Now the CC is coming out. His P.E.K.K.A. and Valkyries jump out of the CC, start trying to go after the Queen there, get some damage on the wall, but ultimately go down before the Queen goes down because of that wall blocking. But now check out the eagle 
artillery. It is currently guarded by a two-tile channel, which normally would have protected it, but with the recent update that happened, what, yesterday or the day before now, it is now vulnerable to a queen charge inside of that compartment. So, Call Drago definitely takes advantage of that change, and it pops queen ability, gets through the enemy queen, takes down the eagle over the channel where normally he would not have been able to. So now he starts his king over there at 2 o'clock, forming out the funnel, clearing out all the trash there, which is going to make a nice narrow lane to push the miners right into the base there. Queen is holding strong there, gets one more rage down because those expos are doing more damage. He doesn't want her under too much damage, so she doesn't go down. He wants more value out of her. She's going to keep pushing through. She's out of abilities, though, so she's in a little bit of danger, but the miners are approaching that expo quickly, and the king is actually beating on the wall there. He's going to redirect to that mortar as soon as the miners take out those defenses, and just like that, he is going to get through. He gets a bomb tower uh, heal down, so he can get through there, and it's also going to heal him on the approach into the inferno, and the wizard tower gets a tornado trap there as he's fighting the king. Not a problem for miners because they don't get affected by that. And the healers switch off of the queen as she goes down. Perfectly timed to get them through into the back of the base here. He did miss a couple defenses here, so they're going to have to go back for those. He has some skelly trap onto his healers, which are going to start whittling down on those. A couple of the miners turn back and go after the troop or the defenses that were missed while the other group continues on with the healers. Healers are going down to the skelly trap and the air defense now, and the warden is sticking with the group that is surging forward. One last heal to go into the wizard tower. Perfectly timed to also protect him from that giant bomb that was there. And he surges into the back of the base. Those other miners were able to clean out at the 12 o'clock there. Those last defenses were missed. And the king survives. Still at half health. And he's going to finish it out with the miners. Tons of overkill. Brilliant queen charge. Set him up very nicely. So the miners didn't have a lot of work to do. And he took out that eagle early, which is always vital in a... Queen charge minor attack. So from that, let's get over to the live stream and we're going to watch the last couple minutes of the One Hive versus Warzone 68 War, the epic finish. And let's get over and do it. And we go with the Lalo King clearing that outside Archer Tower, allowing for a bit of extra tanking to get that Lalo moving. Tome, very important here, has to get it correct over that town hall. Needs to phase that queen, yes she does. Gets that one sweeper, and then round she goes. I think she'll get stuck on a wall now. Takes care of the uh, town hall, but the warden, a path to the north side, so the Tome doesn't get everything. And obviously all those delays at the start means that the enemy queen was still up as well. He had to rush it, there was not much he could do here. It's a decent two-star hit, which is what they needed. Is it enough though? 72% on the board. He's going to get a little bit more with the minions and pups. Oh man, this is this is crazy now because we'll have to check what the percentage is at straight after this one. But it is going to be a defense here for Warzone. We are down to the final attacks and we are tied up on stars, tied up on triples. We'll check percentage in a second. Nice scout there for Eric. Not getting that one through. Where's my remote gone? There it is. Warzone with the hold. Right, what percentage are we finishing at? 80. I think this means that One Hive will maintain the lead on percentage. I think this is high enough that they will keep the lead. Wow, Queen was supposed to charge the Queen. Yeah, absolutely. We've got another live. No rest for us here. We're straight back out to the other side. Jolton going in. Being real here, if this triples, if this triples, Warzone will be massive favourites. If it's a defence, then One Hive will have their fate in their own hands. They may already win, depending on the percentage situation. Seen so many CC Peckers mess up Queen Charge and such shit. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a good troop when it does its job. Um, but yeah, because of you never quite know where it's going to pop out. You don't know it's going to affect the healers or the targeting. So yeah, it is, it's always risky. I think that's the easiest way to say it. Joltam here going in from Warzone 68 looking for a 12v12 triple which might give Warzone the win. It's not guaranteed, but it might. Here we go. Two Wizard Towers down. We've got that jump to go for. Interestingly, he doesn't rush the jump here because he wants the Queen to deal with the CC before she has to deal with the enemy Queen. That's a smart play by Jolton there. No rushing on that jump. First Ice Golem. And you can see that I don't think he needs to rage again here. I think one Expo is not enough now to do her any real damage. Down goes that second Ice Golem. We pause up. He is in range of the enemy queen though, so he has to rage again there. And that keeps his queen alive just... He phases her. I'm not sure he needed to there. But he phases her and That's keeps her moving. What's next? Drink. 
and I know things. That's what I do. I drink and I know things. We have bomb. What do you have? Says Abs. Get some of those cheers out there in the chat. Show some love to Abs. We'll be catching up on all the grumpy old men action in just a second. You can see One Hive are also live as well. We'll dive straight out as soon as we know the outcome of this attack. But get some cheers in that chat. Show some love to Abs and grumpy old men. Let's have a look what Jotam can do here. His queen's still going strong. We've got 80 seconds on the board. He's into the two air defences. One of them at 12, one of them at 10 o'clock. Clears them pretty quickly and then haste to get into the multi-infernal. That's a smart play there. Get that multi down as quickly as possible. He's got that tome ready. Obviously, those loons on the bottom side, they ain't going to make it. Down they go. But we've still got the slammer. Don't underestimate that slammer. Queen's down to one healer, which means the archer tower takes her down. He pops that tome, which just gets him through the Giga Tesla, I think. Oh, wow, that was super close. But he just survives the Giga Bomb. We have one more haste. He needs to use it now. He needs to use it now, and he's late with it. He's very late with it, and he's missed it slightly. He's still moving through, but the loons go down. It is a defense there. One Hive will be very happy with that. Let's check the other attack. Let's check the other attack because we've got Pain Rain going live 12v12. Can he find a triple which would guarantee the win for One Hive? If not, we're going to percentage. We think that One Hive are ahead on percentage, but I don't know anymore. We'll have to check that in just a second. Get those cheers emotes out there in the chat. Thank you again to Abs. He is the most savage. This is its usual spot. He likes that spot. Let's have a look at Pain Rain, though, going in. Queen Charge looking good here. Very in a strong place. She's alive. She's got that rage down. She'll be back on full health. Looking very good at the start. King's on the outside there. That's fine. He can take care of that enemy Queen King quite quickly and allow those miners to get to the Giga Bomb. Get through that Giga Tesla. That's what he wants. His Queen is suffering. That's not a perfect rage there. He may have to phase her. That rage was not good. He does have to phase her, but luckily the might of the healers do follow back in, and that'll allow her to get some health back. That sweeper did a lot of work there. Miner's still moving through. He's got that heal down in advance, ready to get through the um, to get through the eagle shells. That was perfect. His queen's now on the eagle. Man, I bet he wishes he had ability at this point. She could have cleared that center section so easily. Now she may go down to the expo. She does, but the healers are still rolling around. 42 seconds. I think Payne's got this. I think he's got it, guys. We've got a giant bomb. Uh, sorry, giant bomb. We've got a bomb tower and then obviously the giant bomb from it. We've got about 15 miners still up, though. King's doing work. 30 seconds on the board. Another giant bomb goes off, but those healers are just doing that little bit to keep the miners cycling. It's a 12v12 triple for Bane Rain and a win for one hive. What excitement at the buzzer there, but Bane Rain has got it done. Let's just double check. It is 106 to 105. Wow, what a war, what a finish. And Pain Raid yet again coming up clutch there for one hive. Wow. There it is, guys. Adam could not have said it better. What a finish. And one hive is coming out on top 2 and 0 oh in the Clash Cup League. We're going to continue on. Make sure you are back tomorrow for more and head over to Time to Clash on Twitch and blame Adam and hit that follow button. Drop him a sub if you are really enjoying his content. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me.